So whenever you're writing out a mail, so to write a mail, I'm going to click on the compose button right here. And let me just expand this to make it full screen. You can go around and type in any message that you want. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go around and say, dear tutor tube right here. And I'm going to go around and press comma and say, I am writing this test uh, email right here, just like this. So now what you can do is you can also select out the text as you want. So let's say I'm going to select out the uh, text uh, test email. Then you can go around and then make it bold right here by pressing the B button right here. Or you can press control B on your keyboard as well. And that is how you can format it as you can see just like this. So you can go around over here, italicize it, you can underline it. And you can also go around and change around the text color right here. Let's say what I want to do is I want to change around the background color for this particular text. Then you can just go around and choose a background color as well. You can select out the text that you want and then you can even change the size of the text right here. And you can go around, select the text that you want and you can go around and change the font over here just like this as well according to how you want. Like wide, like let's say for example serif or fix width right here just like this and so forth as you can see just like this. And you can really change the way the email looks as you can see right here. Once that is done, you can also go around over here and arrange out different things over here. Like you can align it onto the left right here, or align it onto the center, or align it to the right as well. And that is what you can do as you can see this like this. And then format out the text according to how you want. Yeah, uh, you can also go around over here and even strike it through as you can see right here. You can add in a strike through over here or you can remove the strike through as well. And there you can also remove out the formatting. So if you don't want any formatting, just click right here and all of the formattings will be removed right there just like that. And that is how you can go around and then um, uh, work around with basic format. And if you are working around with the paragraphs, I'm just going to go around and then have a bunch of paragraphs right here by Copying this by pressing Ctrl C and by pressing Ctrl V right here. Let me just go around and change the uh, size of this text right here to let's say large right here. You can also go around over here and then uh, align this uh, entire paragraph onto center or on the left or select a particular paragraph that you may have and align it to the right as well. And that is what you have. If you were to go around over here, then you can see that you can indent this out as well. So you can indent the paragraph out to add in space in the beginning and then you can uh, reduce this out over here as well. So apart from that, there's other options like you can add it in a quotation over here as well and you can see the line right here mentioning that this particular paragraph is a quote as well. You can go around over here and then that is what you have. You can also click on this button to remove out the quote right here or indent it out as well. Apart from that, you can work around with list as well. So if I were to go around and add in a bunch of text like this, I can select it all out and then list it out right here is in one, two, three, four format. You can press enter right here and then you can go around over here as well and then work around with a uh, bulleted list as well. So you can go around over here and you can see that you can turn it into a numbered list or a bullet list according to how you want over here as well. And that, uh, th uh, that is the options that you have to format out the mail text inside of Gmail. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.